when you think of your mental health journey, what it comes to mind? <laughs> what a question. I think when people hear, remember to take care of your mental health, they think that everyone else is, and that's not at all accurate, you know? For me, I'm trying to learn still to make sure that I stay okay, you know what I'm saying? But um, I just answered like 40 questions in one. That's great. It doesn't make you weak to ask for help. It doesn't. It doesn't make you weak to ask for a friend, to go to a therapist. It shouldn't make you feel weak to to ask anyone for help. And you should be able to ask anyone for help. And everyone has to help someone if they need it. You know, starting that conversation, you don't have to make it super serious right away. You know, you, you, you say, how are you feeling? Like, are you okay? That's what you say, are you okay? Ask somebody. That's what they, you know, and yeah, I'm good. Really? You know, are you actually good? Like, sometimes you don't even have to say anything to someone for them to know they understand. And they don't have to say anything to you. Sometimes it's about a hug. <laughs> about somebody holding you and telling you, not even telling you anything, that's what I'm saying. Holding you. The main thing I'm trying to say is that you should keep your ears open and you should listen. And I'm just dealing with it how I'm dealing with it and I'm, I'm trying my best. Obviously I am not a trained professional in anything. I, am, I don't know what I'm doing half the time. But I have, I have seen it and I have I've been it and even if it's just a little bit more comfort, that can really mean a lot to someone because you don't know what is going on. Even in that moment, there could be something going on and it's been like that for me. There have been certain people that, that have texted me right when I needed to be texted, you know, saying they loved me and that they were thinking about me and, and, it, and it, it really means a lot. If you are someone you know is struggling with mental health, you can get more information at seizetheawkward.org.